So developing tonight, you may have seen these videos being shared online. Tense encounters between police and a man standing at the steps of City Hall in Ocean Springs and Waveland. The man claims his constitutional rights were violated in both cities when officers demanded to see his ID and told him to leave the property. Just in the last few hours, Waveland's mayor releasing a statement saying the man was making city workers uncomfortable before the recording started, and that's why police were called. Noah Noble has a closer look. Am I required to give you ID? Yes, you are. Well, what happened if I don't give it to you? You're going to jail, period. In this video posted to Good YouTube, self-proclaimed civil touch. rights investigator Jeffrey Gray is having a tense right, interaction cool. with Waveland right. police. Yeah, 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 yeah. But minutes what earlier, this Thank is what Gray was doing, Thanks. standing outside yes, City Hall, That's holding right. a sign right. that says, you God bless our homeless like veterans. That. That's not true. Good morning, man. God bless our homeless veterans. Please pray for our homeless vets. I reached out to Gray to understand why he was there in the first place. I just wanted to stand out in front of uh, City Hall there on the public sidewalk and wave them for about 30, 45 minutes like I normally do and just uh, spread that message of God bless your homeless vet vets. And on the other side of my sign, it says hope not hate. A large part of the homeless population is uh, our veterans. And I think that people should show compassion and love and support to our homeless people, especially if they're veterans. Right. Sir, I'm standing on a public sidewalk engaged in constitutionally protected Correct. activity. Correct. But I'm letting you know you're going to go to jail, no questions asked. Even if I'm standing on a public yes. sidewalk? Yes. So how many times do I got to explain to you? They approached me, uh, didn't want to have any kind of conversation, didn't want to do any kind of investigation and asked me what I was doing. They just demanded my ID, uh, told me that I was going to jail, <laughs> no questions asked if I didn't give ID. and and trespass me out of there under threat of arrest. When Gray took his sign to Ocean Springs, he had another run-in with police. Ocean Springs was just as bad of a train wreck, unfortunately, as it was in Waveland, if not worse. So, so let me explain this, this to you again. This is freedom of speech and freedom of religion. I don't care. If you want, let me if explain this again. If they're trespassing me, Let me, me explain I'll leave. this again. You're trespassed. Okay, I'll leave. Now you're done. Go get your freaking lawyer and sue the city if you think that's a violation. I would rather not you're do not that. Th then do that because I can tell you what, you're not going to go anywhere with it. You understand? Me? I would rather not do that. I would rather you respect my, my constitutional protected rights, especially being a veteran. I, I do. I do well, you very much. Don't. Every day. You're trespassing me. But off when of you public start property. becoming confrontational and telling me what I can and can't do, guess what? Is you're going to you're going to lose every time. I spoke with Ocean Springs Police Chief Mark Dunstan about the recorded interaction. We're doing an internal review of the officer's actions right now. We're certainly going to remedy any problems that we that we found with uh, the officer's actions. Noah Noble, WLOX News Now. And Gray told us not all of his encounters on the coast were bad. We'll have his positive interaction with the city of Gautier, plus a look at the legality of those officers' actions coming up tonight at 10.